Oops, I did it again. I opened my mouth on the internet. Okay, there was a discussion on permies.com. They were heating a pool of water for fish, and I suggest hydronic heating for it. And it occurred to me afterwards that I'm not entirely certain how much heat these pipes will handle before they fail. So here we have a black poly pipe, 160 psi at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've got, let's see, this is high temp, 100 PSI at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we have the PEX tubing. Now, the PEX tubing they normally use for, for heating is this white stuff that you stick in the floor. I don't know if the white stuff is more is, is a higher temperature. 160 PSI at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 PSI at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. 80 PSI at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hydronic heating system, generally speaking, unless you've got yourself a skyscraper, if you have more than 20 PSI in a... In a hydronic heating system you got something seriously wrong so I'm gonna do some stress testing with this stuff to see how much heat it'll take and still handle about 20 psi by guesstimate alright experiment number one boiling water in my opinion anybody putting, putting together a hydronic system needs to have pipe to handle boiling water so Let's try the poly pipe. Hmm. You know, that's, that's boiling hot, but you know, probably at least 210 degrees at this altitude. But, okay, it's, it's not, you know, that's pretty stiff. I mean, that would handle 20 pounds, I'm sure. So the poly pipe is good at boiling. Let's grab this end. Grab this end over here where it's in the water. It's a little bit pliable, but not, but still is very, very stiff. And PEX tubing at boiling. Ooh, wow, that, that got bendy. But that'll handle 20 PSI still. That means we have to put this stuff in the oven. See what happens. 350 degrees for half an hour. See what we got. White pipe. Uh, white pipe. Who gave up? Is it Ow. Yeah, it bends. So, uh, 225 degrees is the maximum for that type of pipe at 20 psi. Whew. Well, you know, it's, it's soft, it's hyper flexible, but it would still hold 20 psi at 250 degrees. As Okay, the poly pipe is very soft, but it would still hold 20 psi. We'll turn it up a notch and wait half an hour. Okay, half an hour at 275. What do we got? Put the timer on, Well, the black poly pipe has gone all soft and squishy. And, uh, ooh, wow, okay, this is very, very soft. You wouldn't want to put 20 psi on that. Like wet noodle territory. So, yeah, we, uh, this is good for 250 degrees. It looks like at 20 psi, 
and you can probably get away with a poly pipe for the same temperature. So, the tests indicate that this is the highest temperature pipe, the PEX. I would say this would make a good pipe for in the floor or in your pool of water that you're trying to heat. However, when it comes to putting it against your rocket mass heater, or, or especially around the bell, that, that's just way too hot for this stuff. So go copper for that. And if you're making a small system, you might want to look into just using copper for the whole thing because the swedging tool to put the ends, the fittings on here, that gets expensive. That, that guy's expensive. So count your costs. As um, far as that goes, once it leaves the stove, you might just want to use poly pipe. I don't know. It's your call. Um, personally, I like PEX tubing and I like metal. So copper or PEX tubing would be my personal choice. Watch your speed.